Well, it's been like, it's been a week, right? Yeah, Since our week. match, so it still feels like Subway, but it's like, I don't know. It is what it is, you know? I Yeah, we need to move on. Now. Yeah, move on. Always it sucked. Very disappointing. I would have wished to be successful with this team. Um, but, I mean, there is no time to be sad. Obviously, it was very sad, but need to move on. That's how I, how I look at it. Yeah, pretty much. I don't, like, sometimes you lose and you feel like... Um, I don't know, you just, you just feel like a ton of negativity about it, but after we lost to Team Liquid, I just felt like they played pretty good. We didn't play great, so kind of like a fair match, you know, like they play better than us, so they, they definitely should move on. Also, we started off in the loser's bracket, so we only get one life. It's kind of our fault as well. I mean, it's not kind of, it's 100% our fault that we started off with only one life in playoffs. Yeah, it was just, it was a kind of like, feeling weird because it just we just played one bo5 and then it's our season is just over yeah kind it kind of didn't kind really of hit years. me that like whoa my season's just over like now there's like nothing left it's, it didn't really hit me until like the day of after we lost throwing it back to before the actual match what was prep like and how are you feeling going into the tl match our first week after the regular season was over our scrims were pretty bad but after watching team liquid play they lost against energy and kind of like logically speaking like we could beat energy and then energy beat team liquid pretty hard so watching them like lose and seeing their weaknesses it was like pretty easy to think like we could easily take them take them out obviously team liquid has some strengths like their early game has always been very good but they have some huge problems as well like mid late game macro like drafting they just they have obviously like weaknesses that we can play around. So yeah, I wasn't like crazy confident or anything, but I was definitely feeling like this is this is just like a very, very winnable match. Yeah, I felt the same way. I think it was good that we get the chance to see their play. So after that, we had a idea of what we wanted to do against them. And I mean, they definitely improved since that game they played uh, against NRG and I think in the series, uh, we could have we could have played better for sure, but fair play. Uh, I think we should have been game one honestly. I was playing red and I missed two smites on objectives honestly. I I should I sh I think it's easy. So uh, we should have been game one. We would have get the soul and then the Nash, and I think the game would be just ours. And game two, what happened? Game two, we won, right? Yeah, we won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, game two we played good. I think we did like a dive bot lane and the game was kind of over. Then mm. game three, yeah, it was, it was pretty hard to win. It was yeah. kind of unplayable. Hard to, yeah, hard to have enough damage to win. And then game four, we were, it was also pretty winnable, if I remember. Uh, I think we were ahead and then we got flanked by Jax while we were trying to contest Drake. Mm. Yeah. We kind of all ran into him. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We got pushed back. Like, we shouldn't let them push us back when it's five when they're 4v5, we have numbers, but like they kind of like flex on us. We got pushed back a little bit and then Jax flanked us. It was good play by them, kind of something we should have looked out for. And after that, game exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, it sucks because we knew as well when we play against Team Liquid, we need to be careful about their flanks and all that yeah. stuff. But yeah. 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 And also speaking of the first game, they're kind of out macro us, so we didn't know what to do, like, because I thought it's going to be a really easy game, but we didn't do, like, basic things. So after game one, I was kind of yelling to my teams, game two, <laughs> you have to do this, yeah. this, and then you probably got better. And game three, yeah, we didn't have enough damage to, like, kill them, but they have, like, so much better in laning, and so it was kind of hard to win. And game four... Obviously, what we already talked, the plank was really big, but I thought it was winnable too. Yeah, it's, it's came down to a bunch of moments that we should have, like, been able to see coming. Like, for example, the game one, right? Like, things turn around when we got two picks and then they snuck Baron. It was like, we even, like, talked yeah. about, we even mm -hmm. talked about them getting Baron, so. Was that game two? Game that was one. game one. That was game yeah. one. 
And then like after they got Baron, they get like the gold lead from that. Like they close the gap a bit and then they use it to siege our turrets with Trist and they get a ton of gold back. So it's like these small moments, like same as game four where um, they're like fighting us mid, but like we're 5v4, we should have pushed them back, but they pushed us back into the Jack's flank. Um, so like obviously looking back on the series, like if we had just made a few changes or been able to just play the situations out like a little differently, then could have been a completely different series. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely, yeah, made those moments happen from their side. So they played pretty good. You guys are all veterans. Does it get any easier dealing with losses? I, I don't think it's changed that much for me. Like when you lose, I think a tough loss is like when you feel like a tough loss is when you feel like your team is like so good, you deserve to win. And then you get like rent, you like randomly lose to a team that's like super bad. And you're like, man, we really underperformed on the day. Yeah. I don't think that really happened versus team. Like, obviously I don't think we played good, but we didn't like, we just like couldn't make our team work that good during the regular season and, and in practice. So I didn't really feel like, man, we got our like win stolen from us. It was just like, Dude, how did we end up regular season eighth? You know, maybe if we ended, maybe if we ended the regular season sixth place and we had another uh, life in playoffs, like things could have been differently or something like that. But yeah, I just don't. So some losses are really tough. Some losses are like less. Um, just sucks that our season is over for me. For me, I can dealing with better because when I was young, I I didn't achieve anything, so I didn't I didn't know am I doing wrong or like am i doing good because whenever i lost match and then it's off season i feel kind of empty because i put every energy to games and i play every day but after that like goal is just gone i have to wait for next year but right now i kind of know i'm doing right things and if, even if as long as i don't give up achieve i can achieve something result will came out so i can I can refresh like more easily than when I was young. In, in, in each of y'all's careers, what was like the hardest loss for y'all to experience or process? <laughs> Bro, this is a therapy session right now. <laughs> yeah, this is, I, I understand it's a cruel question, but just, just curious. I mean, it's just different, <laughs> right? Like these playoffs I lost as eighth place. It's like, that means you're not even close to the finals or like, and I lost in finals, so it's just like each have like their unique feeling, I feel like. One, you're like very close and it sucks you lost. And one, you're not even close, you shouldn't be that sorry, but at the same time, bro, what's up, man? You're just eight, you know? You're not even close, so everything is just different. The worst loss for me was <laughs> definitely when I threw versus Crown Victor in 2016 because that was 100% my fault. So it feels very bad. For me, it felt like the worst to lose when I, it was just like the whole game was on me and then I blew it. Yeah, that that definitely feels the worst because you feel very sorry for your to your teammates and like you feel like upset with yourself and you also lost the game, obviously, a very important game. So it was like a triple whammy. For me, worst loss was 2016 final because it was game five against Rox Tigers and we were doing Nash and then GP just hurt and Natural HP was two, so we stalled, so we lost the final, and and then we because of that we had to the world's gauntlet. We were the final boss, and Samsung Galaxy was coming up, and then we went to game five again, and then I lost again, so I we couldn't go worse, and then at that year the Samsung Galaxy won the world, so it was kind of love for me that years. That sucks, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I did not know that happened, dude. You were so close. <laughs> yeah. You never know though, bro. Look, he, you lost and I, is that the year you came to NA? Yeah, after, after that, that year? yeah. So Our team lost. Maybe that would have <laughs> never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you planning to spend your off season? Yeah, it's only a week, so I don't f really feel like it's off season, but sometimes like I, I kind of want to get away from the league but I realized I just watching LCS even though yeah. it's off season because there's kind of not much to do but 
I'm trying to find more to do something like exercise, but I'm still figuring out what to do, refreshing my mentally and physically. I'm so bored. Like <laughs> I just I just play league still. I I just stream and play league. I feel like I don't really find anything else to do. So I'm still playing league a bit. Pretty much everything I do in the off season is to waste the time to yeah. w for the next season to start already. Like it's just something to make the time go by faster. I don't have anything that I'm like looking forward to doing the off season. Like I'm probably gonna go on vacation with Lena, which is something can't do during the season and that'll be really fun. But after that, I'll probably just be just bored as well and waiting. What do you think you've learned from this year? So many things, but I don't know how to explain. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a main thing is uh, it's hard to ex it's hard to think about like, I mean, I, I think the main thing that I learned, but I think everyone already knows is like a good team you 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 know you add up all five of the players and it's like the team is like more than that like the team makes everybody play at their best uh the best version of like that player but then you know our team obviously there's like we just like never could make our team work that great so i think like we ended up not playing like how the the potential of like all five of the players added up could be um so yeah, I mean, like, it's not something that I learned, but I think it's something that I'm, like, always trying to figure out, like, how um, could I, like, have helped the team get there where we're all, like, doing everything in sync and, like, some stuff don't even need to communicate. We just know it. Like, we don't even need to say it. We can just do it. That's how good we are at, like, playing with each other. And, like, some stuff, um, you know, everyone has their own little job and you know, our practice is, like, always good, and, like, that's, like, an ideal, you know, that's, like, a, you, that's, like, heaven if you're a pro player, like, every day practice is good, and everyone's playing good, but, um, yeah, we just went through, like, a lot of issues throughout the year, so, uh, I think we couldn't really focus on those things that much, we were always trying to focus on, like, the basics, like, just getting, getting, like, kind of the basics down, um, so I guess the main thing that I learned is like, uh, it's my first year back after two year break. So just like kind of how to be a pro player again. Shout out to Subway and thank you to all the fans who support us throughout the year. We'll see you next year.